Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you rendering or creating stems in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here. I want to create some stems to send it out to another musician who wants to work on the file, maybe in a different DAW. Let's see what it sounds like now. So like I said, we want to create stems of each of our tracks so someone else can work on this project, maybe to mix it or add some of the parts to the production. And if they're doing it in a different DAW, we want to send them some stems, as the Reaper project won't be very useful for them. So let's start with our drum tracks. We have a kick, a snare, and some toms. We'll select them. And then I'm going to create a time selection for the area we want to export or render. So I'm going to select from bar three to bar seven. Then we're going to open up the render dialog. We'll go to the file menu and choose render. We could also use the keyboard shortcut right over here, which is all control R on the PC or option command R on the Mac. And if we choose it, it opens up the render dialog. So it defaults to creating a master mix. And we don't want that. So we should choose either stems, master mix and stems, or selected tracks via master. We'll go back to this one in a bit. Let's keep it simple and just choose stems. And we can see down here with the render button, Reaper's going to create three files. One for our kick, one for our snare, and one for our toms. Let's also choose the bounds and change it to a time selection because we created one for this. And down over here is where we choose our directory, which is where we want to save our files to. I already created a folder called stems right over here. So Reaper's going to save our stems to that folder. And over here is our file name, which defaults to the project name we're using. Then we could choose our sample rate, how many channels, mono or stereo. And we could also choose full speed offline, real time offline, or online render. And we could hear the files as we render them. But let's choose full speed offline because it's faster. Then we could choose the output format for the stems. We could use WAV, AIF, MP3, or whatever. Let's choose WAV. 24 bit, and now we're ready to render our files. Again, it's going to render three different files one for our kick, snare, and toms. And we can see it being rendered right here. And here are the files that got rendered. Our first one is our kick. The second one is the snare. And the third one is the toms. But as you can see, the naming that Reaper did isn't very useful. So instead, let's delete these and choose on the file name to use wildcards. We'll choose track, which is going to name the files based on the track names over here. Then let's also add our project name, which is pop song, and now let's render them again. We can hit this button, we'll just hit return on our keyboard. And again, it renders it right here. And now our names are more useful. Our kick, our snare, and our toms, which can be a lot more useful for the person importing these files. Now, if we go back to Reaper, we'll notice that our kick is a mono track, and our snare is stereo, 
and so is the toms. So we might want to use this other feature. Right down over here, tracks with only mono media to mono files. You can choose this and also choose multi channel tracks to multi channel files. And if we choose this and do the same render, now it creates a mono file for a kick, but a stereo file for a snare and toms. And we can see the size difference for our kick compared to the snare and toms. It's half the size because it's a mono file, which makes more sense because our kick track is mono. But let's add some more wild cards for rendering. Let's delete this. And let's add some more useful information. Go to the wild cards, go to output format, and choose bit depth right here. Letting the user know that these files are 24 bit and also what the sample rate is 44 1. And now, if we render it, we see a bit more info on our files kick track, the song name, 24 bit, and the sample rate 44 1. Now, we also might want to render a group of tracks as one file. Let's say we want to make the drums all one drum stem. We can just create a new track to be a folder. Put it at the top, name it drums. Put these tracks in the folder by clicking this button and unclicking this button. So the drum tracks are all in this folder. Then we can just select the drum folder and it's just going to render all our drums as one track like this. It just created one file with all our drums combined. Very useful if we want to combine tracks and create less stems based on the group of sounds, like drums, guitars, vocals. But let's undo this. And this time let's create stems for all our tracks from kick to our keys render it to this folder creating seven files but let's switch it to master mix and stems so now it's going to create a master mix along with our stems creating eight files as we can see right here we have our bass our guitar our keys, our kick, our snare, our synth, and our toms, along with a master mix of the whole thing. So we can render our final mix along with stems at the same time. But we could also create stems having them go through the master two bus. For example, if we just choose our guitar, it sounds like this. But there's a bit of reverb and delay on it. Because we're sending the guitar to our reverb and our delay down here. Separate tracks, which we're using as effects returns. So if we turn these off, the guitar sounds dry which is what's going to happen if we just render a stem track for the guitar. Like this. Switch it back to stems and render it. And now the file created is going to be dry without the effect sends and returns included. So if you want to print it, exactly how it sounds in your mix, you're going to want to use a different option. Switch it right here to selected tracks via master. And now it's going to render that guitar and any other stems we create going out on master two bus, which is also going to include any effects on the master track, which I do have right here. I'm using the glue compressor and a limiter. So if we use the option 
stems, it's not going to include all those effects. But if we want that, so we can render it exactly how it sounds in our mix, just choose this option instead. Select the tracks via master. And now if we render that guitar, it's going to sound like this. With all the effects that it's sending to over here, along with the master effects on our master fader. So if we want that on all the tracks on our render, just select them all and render them using selected tracks via master. And now we can render those seven files one at a time to this folder. So that's pretty much it. That's rendering or creating stems in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.